2018 AIG Women's Open champ Georgia Hall off to a great start, Morgan. Yeah, this club has been her Achilles heel statistically this season, but what a beautiful way to start the round today. So the long putt at 12 started on the back nine today and then looked to go back to back here at 13. The par five, her third. She's fifth on tour this season in par five scoring because of lots of wedge shots just like this. Nearly. Tap that in, make three in a row. Has had a bogey, so she's three under. Heyoon Chen, 33-year-old from Taiwan, her third at the fourth. Now you really want to take advantage of the par fives out here. This fourth hole, one of the easiest holes on the golf course to this back hole location. Just go ahead and make it. In the red figures, one under. Celebration follows. But all eyes on Nelly Corda trying to Make history, do what Nancy Lopez did, Annika Sorenstam did win in five straight starts. Double bogey at one, the bounce back at two. It's going to be a little bit below her feet for sure. You can see she's walking very gingerly in there to it. Yeah, it's quite a long ways below her feet right now. Has to carry it up a little tier, I think, from here. Or you could do the chunk and run and land it at the bottom of the tier and let it release back. Like that. That was well done. It's Madeline Sackstrom for a birdie at three. Oh, yeah. Well done. from under par. I think Morgan's right. I think there's a lot to be said for the late early, early time. I know today it feels like it's a quick turnaround for Nelly, but it will pay dividends as the weekend goes on. And Karen, and the better she plays today, the later she plays tomorrow. Exactly. Stays right there. Great look from just behind. What a roll. And back to four under. You know, the, the form didn't follow on and they were you know she went through that season where she didn't win an LPGA event and now suddenly it's all clicked she's healthy and we can see what she's able to do this one's going to be quick yeah your health is something to never take for granted whether that be uh, you know physical health in terms of literally being able to hit a golf ball like a back like we saw from Lilia Vu or something it's a par putt here for Minji yeah, Tom, she found a really thick piece of grass just to right off the bunker and was quite aggressive with her. Shot, but it doesn't matter if you're going to make the putt. Yeah, it's a really good par there. To the fourth and the second for Lottie Wode, Paige. After a good drive, she can reach this green in two. She hits a good one. Want to head up the center of the screen and allow the slope to take it. Yeah, she's sneaky long, Paige, isn't she? We saw that. Yes. Oh, what a shot this is. Even I saw that a couple weeks ago. Augusta National Women's Amateur. Perfectly placed drives. Let's go to eight. And Chen to get it to red figures now. Never left the hole. I mean, some of these cuts that she's made, and plus that hole out on the fourth. Ali Ewing on the tee at the 17th. Flag today is in the back left, which is where a lot of players finished yesterday when they were trying to hit the flag that was on the ridge over that middle bunker. Yeah, that'll work out well. That's going to take a little bit of the back slope, I think. Come back towards the hole. It's going to try. Georgia Hall. I don't know, it might be going a bit right. No, it's going to catch the slope. Yeah, she was worried it wasn't going to catch that slope that takes it down towards the hole. But as long as you pitch it on the correct side of the green, Good chance is going to turn out well today. Page here at four, a long distance birdie try for Sagstrom. Yeah, she's actually made two great putts the last two holes. Bogey save on two, and then you saw the birdie putt she made on three, but got in trouble off the tee. Ended up having to pitch out, so this would be good for a two putt. How about a one? Well done. Well done. <laughs> it looked like a one for a while. <laughs> good angle here to that flag. It's got a 50 degree wedge here. Good shot. 
Nellie Corda now. She sets up for her second. We'll check out the shot with our top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance. And she's got 101 and a 54 in hand. She had a beauty in here yesterday, Karen, to a few feet. Just outside of a few feet here. Good look to get another one. Out to the eighth, Allison Corpus, another major champ from last year. Third at eight for Minji Lee. There's 126 left. Was forced to lay up from that right bunker. That's a good number for her. And a good shot. And the backstop there. Makes a big difference coming out of the rough. But she was able to get that to land quite softly. And catch that backstop, bring it back. Excellent chance. I think Charlie Hall had a good one here yesterday. Par five. Charlie's seventh in the world, so in a position to make that Olympic team. Yeah, got the hop. Brilliant. That would be for a 210-yard shot. Would do just fine to land it, let it roll out. Swing, what a shot. What a result. I had never really seen Lottie play before the Augusta National Women's Amateur, and I have been so impressed, Terry. Back over to the ninth green, and Nelly for a birdie. And from where she's putting from, Tom, she's going to feel this putt's going to move to the right in her feet. There's a little subtle slope that's right behind her, but I think as it gets to the hole, it's going to move to the left, so not an easy one to get right. Oh, she got it spot on. That was just so good. And Nelly gets to five under par within one of the lead here at the Chevron Championship through nine holes. I see G.A. Shin in the field here. She's been playing on the Japan LPGA Tour, a player that has graced the top of the world rankings before. And she is uh, trying to make the Korean Olympic team, which is why she's playing a little more on the LPGA Tour. Now Renan's third at the par five eighth. Five twenty six on the card, playing five eighteen. Will it? No, it wanted to. Started to come back. She has a seven on out. I think in general this whole location is, is quite appealing to go at. And she's going at it. Oh, wonderful shot. And Nelly. Flag hunting there. See a bit of the tail of the day. Six of 11 greens so far today for after we're touting her iron play. And here's the draw. Great shot. All right. Good chance to get one there and get it to three over par. She's got plenty of height on this. It's a good shot. Be good. Jason asking for it to be good right up the gut of the green there. Beautiful. That's beautiful. 277. That's big. They give themselves lots of opportunities. Look at this one. Wasn't going anywhere else. And that gets hate on you to four under par, just two back. Third shot of the par five for Angela Stanford. Three over par, battling away, trying to make the cut. And that one's on a good line, on a very good line indeed. Oh, three for Stanford. The eagle has landed there. It's called a reto at the 11th, her second. Player trying to move inside the cut line. Oh, another player who holds it. 
and that moves her to two over par. There we go, here's the third hole. And then it goes Madsen for a birdie. Is this one going to drop? It's got enough pace. Yes, you knew it. <laughs> you knew it. <laughs> Never a doubt. Four in a row, maybe? He's got 167. Did the first bit by hitting the fairway. Come on. Come on. Oh, what a letdown, Morgan. Really uh, good shot, though. There was a bit of hurt. I think what that tells Nelly is that that, that little bit of hurt will cancel out the, the bit of release that she's going to get from this fringe. She couldn't have landed that in a more perfect spot. Just can't really control how it's going to release, but very well done. And Lottie Wode. Is that the 13th, her third? Yeah, excellent second shot to get to this point. Oh, and that's some good touch right there, too. Is another one going to go in? Oh, so that's going to be a birdie. She's going to get the five under par within one of the lead in a major championship. Never played an LPJ event before. Take it to the eighth. Jody Ewart shot off in the third at this par five. Come on. Come on, indeed. I know it's not Tom's hole, but... Should have known. Up near the green, Corpus in her fourth, third shot, excuse me. Yes. It's the magic from Pebble Beach. So, one under, but just five off the lead right now. The 17th. To Oka. It's one where, who knows, you could hold it. The ball runs down towards the hole. Looks like she's got this a little right. Catch the slope. Could come back, yeah, could come back from there. Here we go. Here we go. That's it. That's the way to do it. Right on cue. Madeline Sagstrom battling away. This is her fourth at the par 4 15th. And now has to negotiate what is a tricky hole in that one. Oh, gets it to drop. That's so valuable. <laughs> yeah, she can't believe it. Sagstrom second at 16 from the rough. Nine iron. Hole location just in the front portion. Gets the hop. Well judged. Really nice. Excellent shot. This is Yan Lu just off the green. Throwing it back there, and that's just confidence there. That is wonderful. And she's battling away to try and make the cut. Tudakun here at the fifth with her second. Only got 115 to the hole, courtesy of a drive that carried the bunkers on the right. Looks very good. Yeah, back there on the lower level of the green to the play here Taya Tidikun it's a birdie putt it looks pretty good Tom. Yeah. Oh, little eye roll from her she <laughs> trying to get that club going Lindy Duncan's third from the bunker at 18 will it just stops so got there in two, past hole high. Final hole of the day for Maya Stark. And she's had a good day today. Three under par. Put herself in contention. Yeah, and the chance to finish with a birdie for the Swede. Winner already on the LPGA a couple of years ago. Tim Dryborough. Just a moment to go at the third. Get it all the way back there. Oh, yes, she is. Having a little look at the hole. Good tee shot there. Should be another birdie at number three. And this is an eight time. Absolutely flat calm out here right now, Tom. Not a breath of wind. Oh, this is really high. It's on a really good line, too. Oh, yeah, wonderful shot back. 
second, 16, Henderson. What a shot. Perfectly judged. So a chance to get it to two under for Brooke. Lengthy birdie try now at 16 for Lexi. Yeah, but if she can get it about three quarters of the way there, it'll then take the ridge on the way down. And finds it. That wry smile, like, where you been? And a share. You talk about hitting fairways and greens, but it has actually been this club. She is leading the field. The last three holes. How about the putts she's made? She's leading the field in putting. Oh. And she's leading the field on the leaderboard as well. I've seen players, players reattack this hole. Yes. Like that? Three eagles so far today. Back out to the eighth, Caroline Masson. This is her second at the par five. Right on the number right now. Yeah, can give herself some breathing room here. Look at this shot. Maybe a lot of breathing room could get her right back in this championship. Wow. Interesting, Morgan. I mean, she's kind of not shown the sort of form that would uh, indicate she was going to be tied for the lead. Oh, the biggest difference has been the putting compared to so far this season that's a beauty right there but I mean, to this point she has 50 putts 25 putts each day well that's where it comes to what we talked about you know so young being so hard on yourself you do leave the golf course and you can kind of beat yourself up about what oh, could have been shin so bong knocking that one in Ooh, the 26 year old from china needs to hold this to make the cut And, oh, that much more. It was right there, wasn't it? Right there. Starts going down the hill. Woo! I know what the call should be. I'm not going to go there. What a putt. For Eagle to end the coverage on day two. Go ahead, Abbott. 